Guys, when you're building your cars, be careful when you order your rear end. Take the time out to know how compatible everything needs to be from your cam, the design of the motor, to your transmission, to the stall converter that's in the transmission, to the rear end and obviously the gear choice that you go with. I don't want to make it as if I know all of it, but we definitely partner up with major shops. Here in Orlando is uh, Advanced Driveline. They're, they do pretty good work here. But like I say, Richmond Gears, they, there's a lot of company that do this work. A lot of rear end companies that can do it. It's, 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 it's shops in your town that has the knowledge to do it. You just have to know we need to do this. It's not just simply going to buy an LS and slap it in your car if you want it to work effectively forever, you know, and that's that's our goal here at VTS Viado. This car came with a factory 321 gear in the rear. It was control differential, which means it was a semi-posi differential, which is good, you know, so um, I went out, I wanted to get my rear end built, I took it in and blowed it apart, you know, we're gonna do everything, take a jig and everything to make a new rear end. And come to find out, I was going to like a 373 or 411 gear thinking that the taller gear would be good for the bigger tire, the more heavier car, the bigger motor up front. And once they actually did the, you know, the math and all the computing of what it actually takes to do it, the gear ratio was closer to what I was from the factory. They recommended a 325 on a four nine inch, and I was at 321. So I probably could have used the original rear end had I wanted, you know, had I knew the, all the things that affected, the variables that affected that gear ratio. It's not just simply the real size, it's not just simply the weight of the car. It goes down like when you're building cars like this, like the motor that we built for the Pontiac, it got as detailed as the cam. The cam want to know the weight of the car. The cam want to know the stall and the transmission. The cam want to know the size of the tire in the rear, and it's going to perform based off the weight of the car. Everything matters when you that detail when building cars. So it's the same thing with once now, okay, guess what? We're building the car. We got to put a motor and transmission in it. It's not as simple. Let's just slap any motor and transmission in it. To make this car perform effectively the way that it needs to, you got to do all of the math to know drivetrain um, the for instance and I didn't know all, I don't want to sound like I'm a know-it-all I learned this from running into problems that we trying to figure out with putting LT5s in the cars that never had an LT5 and this motor just came out a year ago GM just figured this motor out now we got to figure out how to put it in these cars and make it perform efficiently the transmission first gear differentiates it affects gear ratio so first gear on an 8 speed or 8L90, which is what comes with the LT5 Connect, it has a very high uh, first gear and that will give you a good pull out of the hole to get that car moving, you know, and then it falls off throughout the 10 speeds or 8 speeds or whatever transmission you use. All of that matters with rear end. And, you know, I called Richmond Gears, we stayed on the phone for a minute and Come to find out the 320, 325 area is where I should have been when my mind was automatically thinking 373 or 411 taller gear. What would have happened if I would have used those gears? The, on the newer transmissions, they're computer controlled and it's based off of RPM. So in second gear, in order for it to shift the third gear, it has to get to, let's just throw a number out there, 3,500 RPMs. If it never gets to 3,500 RPMs, if it stays at 27, it'll just stay in second gear the whole time. It'll never shift to third gear. So it's, it, your RPM dictates uh, a lot to do with the rear end. Like when you go as detailed as figuring a guy, like what gear ratio you put in there? Your gear ratio, when they when, when they ask you a question, they're gonna ask you, do, what, what, what kind of car do you wanna build? And I was like, what do you mean by that? It was like, do you wanna make it a 70 mile an hour car? Or do you make it, want to make it a 45 mile an hour car? A 45 mile an hour car is not designed to get on the highway. It's not designed to cruise at 70, it's designed to cruise at 45. That dictates rear end as well. 
If you want your car like most designers, when they make them at the factory, they're making it for a 70 or 80 mile an hour car to where you could do both. You can cruise, you can get up to speed on the highway, and that's the sweet spot that we have to figure out with these cars when you take motors like that because they have a gear ratio and where all of the gear ratios are for each speed in that transmission in the car that it was designed to go in, which is a 2019 uh, 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 Corvette. Well, that Corvette doesn't weigh 5,000 pounds like this Cadillac does, and that Corvette doesn't have 28-inch rims on it that's totally a 34-and-a-half-inch tire. You know, that tire on the Corvette is probably going to be a 29-inch tire if you actually do the history or look it up. We definitely got one going in, uh, coming for the Cadillac soon. Y'all stay tuned. That one's going to be a little more in-depth, and I like more in-depth stuff where you can learn from it, but it's not as simple as D's car or the Monte Carlo rear end that we put in or the rear end that we put in the Pontiac. Those were vehicle specifically made rear ends where your brackets that hold your control arms that mount it to the car they made it where it's, it's lined up just like it would be from the factory on a new rear end well when we get the one from the Cadillac it, it, they don't have one for this car so we have to make a jig we have to line up the rear end and put the brackets for where it holds the control arm that con connects it to the car not a big task you know we love the degree of difficulty here at VTS Viato but Stay tuned, guys. We got a lot of good stuff coming. Like I say with these cars, we got a lot of stuff coming in the future, plus the stuff that we're doing here right now, real time, guys. So y'all stay tuned, man. We got a lot coming. VTS Viado.